All right, so uh, you guys wanted a bit of a write-up on how to install the automatic climate control into a fifth-gen Mirage. See, this is the Evo 4 climate controller box. Um, and this is the harness that I separated from the Evo 4 dash harness. Um, for the most part, all of the wire, or all, most of the wires um, from that harness can be spliced straight into the um, factory heater control harness. Um, which I retained the original connectors uh, from the old cable style harness. Uh, these were just AC buttons and whatnot. So um, there's a handful of wires that aren't in it that you'll need to hook up. Um, not exactly sure what they do. I've just been matching them to the same spots on the Mirage harness and uh, matching colors up uh, because pretty much most Mitsubishis are going to have the same colors. Uh, for the different wires and what they do is going to be the same. So, um, I haven't figured out the yellow wire yet. Um, that's one of the ones I'm going to be working on here soon. It does not match up to the Mirage harness. Uh, the Mirage harness um, back here be this one. Uh, on the Evo, this top wire right here which you see is red is is where the yellow wire goes so I have to find out if that's the same or not but my guess is probably not since it's a different style wire and this is heavier gauge um, this pink wire if you can see the pink wire right there matches up to the pink wire on the Evo 4 block so um, I kind of extended it if you trace it it comes to this sensor right here so I just spliced in with another wire and ran it down into the pink wire uh, the red and the red wire with a black stripe uh, it runs and it's the same on the Evo harness it runs down into this block right here with the rest of the red wires with black stripes uh, they're all pretty much the same um, this brown wire that I put not needed on it uh, it goes to the OBD2 port and there's no actual wire there for it. I think it's just for diagnostics on the heater control system. Um, the other one that I have to figure out still is the blue wire with the white stripe. Um, it's also not there so on the harness block. So that's something I still have to figure out. But overall, um, I can start uh, put the key in the ignition and fire it up. And just matching the wires over, uh, this thing gets power and the buttons work. So, anyway, uh, I'll start it up here in a second so you guys can see. Alright, um, now let's see. Plug the key in. Now, if you can see it, I've discovered that the screen is A needs another bulb put in but B is not very visible in bright light uh, but anyway so here it is running turn it on um, worked up just the one servo on this box um, don't there wasn't really any need to hook up the center box because there's really no easy way to do that so uh, or out of the car anyway so anyway uh, I just hooked up this box for the sake of showing you that it works. So, anyway, you can see if I turn the knob up, temperature goes up, temperature goes down. If I turn it down, everything pretty much works right. I mean, I can turn the fan up here. You can hear it get louder. So, there's that. Um... I think if you can see if you can see that closing or not yeah there you go that's me turning the the knob down if I turn the knob up you can see it opens back up it's a you know fairly easy deal uh, once you've hooked all the wires up everything pretty much just works um, so that's that uh, hang on, let me unplug the battery and take the key out here for a second. Be right back. I've got some grounds that aren't 
hooked up, so for the sake of not burning my car to the ground, let me unplug the battery real quick. All right, um, one thing that I did find out just a moment ago, uh, one thing that I didn't realize you have to replace is this resistor pack right here. I'm trying to unscrew it with one hand is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Try not to strip out the screws. Eh, hang on. There's really nowhere to move in here at the moment. All right. Now, this is the Diamante resistor pack uh, that goes into the cooling unit. Um, as you can see how that looks, it has several steps on it for the uh, heater or for the blower motor versus this. This is the Mirage stock resistor pack. Looks a lot different and that's because it is a lot different. Um, if you hook the uh, blower engine up or the blower motor up, excuse me, with uh, this resistor pack, you're only going to get one speed, or you might get a couple, but uh, mine's burned out anyway, I found out, which is why my heater wasn't working well. So, I only get one speed with this. So, yeah, make sure if you're going to go to the pool yard that you grab this Diamante resistor box. I just grabbed all three heater boxes. It'll make it a lot easier for you. And uh, make sure you grab the harness as well. Uh, if you can get the full dash harness, it's going to make your life a lot easier because then you can take it home and just go through it and, and separate the wires piece by piece. And you're only going to have a couple. You can see all the uh, butt connectors there. That's really all the wires it was to hook up. I want to say there was like 10 total, um, including the ones that I haven't figured out yet. So, so yeah, that's that. Um, the Diamante heater boxes should, in theory, uh, go right in. In theory, I say that because there's other things that are supposed to work in theory on the Mirage and haven't, but we'll make it work somehow. Um, the vent that goes here just went right onto the Diamante box, so that was that's an easy part. Um, and the box has the same mount points. Uh, the two biggest things that I noticed you'll have to change is right here, you can see it uh, this vent that goes into the blower motor box is a different shape from the Diamante so the Diamante is like this um, whereas the Mirage kind of instead of having this angle right here it comes out and then goes down so that's a bit different I'm gonna experiment with the Diamante vent and see if I can either swap vents or if I can just cut the bottom of that vent off and kind of RTV or silicone it to the top piece of the Mirage one if nothing else and the other thing I noticed is if you come around here the heater core on the Mirage you can see these two are really close together uh, that go into the heater core you also notice there's a slot right here um, the Diamante heater core, which is in my trunk, and it's also broken, so I need to go get another one. They're apart, but, um, and I believe this is the case, I'm not sure, but I would assume it is, um, these, that space that's there in the mat on the firewall is where these come through. So all I should have to do is uh, drill it out and then block the old one and it should be no big deal so so yeah anyway that's everything uh, it should be a 
fairly simple installation. Uh, I'll post up on the forum when I figure out what the yellow wire and the blue wire with the white stripe go to. And uh, if I said before, I can't remember, this just goes to the OBD2 port. Uh, I may add it in later, but I'm not convinced that it will even show up on the diagnostics. So, uh, considering this is the JDM control box. Now, it, it may, because the Diamante box is essentially the same, the only difference is uh, this one's in Celsius and the Diamante's in Fahrenheit. So, um, it may show up on the diagnostics if you hook an OBD2 uh, scanner up to it, but um, I'm not sure. I may just hook it up for kicks and giggles, see what happens. So.